Hi everyone, my name is Claiborne Newton and for my management interview project, I interviewed a manager named Patricia at a daycare facility called the Victory Child Care and Learning Center. She has been a manager over there for the past 18 years and for her position, she did not have to have a degree. However, she did have to be certified in CPR, first aid, early childhood education, and there are multiple other tests and certificates she had to get in to ensure her position. But she mainly got the manager position due to her passion and love for making a difference in children's lives and wanting to be able to take care of them and ensure that they got an early childhood education. When asked about her application of Polk, she told me that the main goal at their facility is to make a difference in every single life that they educate there. Um, and the way that she organizes that is that she retains a staff and she gives them sort of like a questionnaire type thing where they tell their where they'll be most comfortable, where they are able to make more of a difference and where they'll be able to achieve the main goal that the daycare has. Um, she just wants to make sure that her staff is going to be able to be comfortable with the age groups and to ensure that they are able to maintain a certain amount of comfortability and where they can educate the most. She leads her team by showing them the example. She models to them how they need to be approaching every situation and how they need to be educating their children. And if there are any struggles or issues in any classroom, she will go in and aid them in any way she can, by whether that be how, helping them out, teaching them, um, providing any type of activities or anything that they might need in order to keep up this education and care. And, and able to control it, she will keep a constant connection and line of communication with her staff in order to assess their performance and to let them know where they are doing great and how to continue doing that and what she can do to help them continue this great behavior. Or if there are anything where they might need to improve, she will offer them help, possibly even let them go to an out-of-work training so, so they can learn more and be able to effectively teach their class. But she will also talk to her clients and ask them, hey, is there anything in your classroom, in your child's class that we could be doing more where you feel like your kids will be able to learn more or be more comfortable there? When asked about her likes and dislikes of management, she really likes building relationships with her staff and her clients. She enjoys being able to learn about them on a professional and a personal level and being able to connect with them. And another thing that she likes about her job and managing is she loves to take care of children and educate them. When asked, she said that her main thing that she loves is whenever her kids actually leave the daycare and become more of an adult or a teenager and she can see where their education and their care has actually made a difference. And when they'll come back and actually talk to her and be like, I'm so happy that I came here and I'm so happy that you were a part of my life. Um, some dislikes she had was the different types of employees and how you have to really understand a person's personality before you can just stick them in a classroom. You have to be able to have complete trust in these employees. You have to understand these employees and how they manage stress. They possibly manage behaviors and other issues and how well they will do under pressure. And another thing that she dislikes about management is having to keep up with ratios and staff issues. At a daycare facility, health and safety is one of the main things. And it's really hard to keep up with ratios and staff issues, especially during like winter season when people are always getting sick and it can be really hard to keep staff when there's so many different types of 
sicknesses and illnesses going around because you don't want to bring that into a daycare facility. Um, some insights she was able to give me during this interview is that you need to be able to follow standards and policies as strict and consistently as possible in order to keep up with standards, pol like any kind of policy. And it also helps with being able to um, keep kind of staff morale high. Um, hiring people that are effective and reliable at a daycare facility, especially you want to keep familiar faces so that there's this level of trust that can be built. And by having people that are reliable, they are able to build this sort of trust with clients and kids and the other staff. Um, another insight is that you want to be able to lead by example and aid your staff. If your staff feels like they can't rely on you, they will not come to you with any issues and they won't feel like they are really safe there. And you also want to be able to provide staff with the tools and supplies that are necessary for them to effectively perform their tasks. If you can't provide your staff with the things necessary to form goals like theirs is to make a difference. If you can't connect with these children and really make a difference because you are not providing your staff, then you will never be able to achieve your goal. Um, that's everything. Thank y'all so much for listening.